What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today. We got an iced coffee today, so I had ice in my mouth trying to do that intro. Sorry about that, guys. Very, very excited to be here with you today because it is officially the new season in Rush Royale. I love the new season. It means that you can play around with some funky decks and still have a chance to win some games. And to me, that's best case. I love winning games just as much as the next guy. But if you can also play with a weird deck, a deck that's not necessarily in the meta, that's uh, that's absolute best case. Win games and play with something that's kind of random. So what we're going to be doing today is showing off a little bit of Gargoyle, which if you guys haven't seen me play Gargoyle in the past... It's a sneaky good deck. It's a sneaky, sneaky good deck. We've also got Chemist in here just to help out with a little extra damage. We got Portal Keeper. We kind of play this deck uh, the exact same way as we would play Chemist. Um, uh, sorry, as, uh, as Cultist. Literally almost the exact same way as we would play Cultist. But, uh, but there's some, uh, some key differences like the fact that you put a Dryad on the middle. You get a Gargoyle to level 2. And all of a sudden, it's a statue. So it doesn't attack, but now your gargoyles that are touching that have extra uh, damage and area damage. And if they're also on a square here, they get an extra buff there as well. So there's a lot of differences with gargoyle. It's such a cool card. I'm hoping that it gets another like miniature buff. I'm not even exactly sure what I would want. Maybe just um, Maybe just a damage buff. They made it recently so that gargoyle is easier to play because statues can't get hit by negative effects like shaman or warlock um and as you can see with these guys they're actually shiny right uh just this guy and this guy actually are shiny so if those guys get hit by shaman they also are not going to be taken out but here we go going up against a warlock i don't know how good we're gonna do here we're doing good enough let's get this middle guy up to that is not the one I wanted to do here uh, up to four and then we're gonna follow it up with this guy getting up to three and that's not too bad we've also got gadget in this deck as you can see we're playing against a uh, a cultist player which is okay and maybe just maybe I'll just move this guy over for now um, we can do something kind of cool here I'll just do this I'll do that not too shabby i don't even know exactly what the perfect board would be i would love to have this guy um on this one that's actually a gargoyle i could do it i'm being greedy i could level up my up the this guy i could move him over level up uh this guy and just move this over and then get that guy up that'll work and then i can actually move this guy to the corner because we don't care about him that much Nothing against you, bro, but uh, you're not uh, you're not my top priority right now. So let's just do this. We got that. Got our gadget. And you can see we're actually hanging in there damage-wise with a, with a cultist deck. So let's just get this guy up to three. Now we've got a four with three threes attached to it. We're going to get our chemist up again. But you can, t you can tell, guys, this genuinely, Gargoyle can hold its own. With a Cultist deck, with a Blade Dancer deck, we might fall off a little bit quicker than him. But as of right now, we're in, we're in a good spot. And against Gorgon, we're absolutely not going to have an issue. He's already got two T's right there. Um, so he's also loving what his board's looking like, uh, too. But guys, if you want, if you uh, are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also check out those memberships. Guys, we got a lot of cool perks that I know you guys will enjoy, including the ongoing raffle free to win your very own Mallard mug. Guys, we're doing the raffle today okay stop on by twitch we're gonna be live at 4 p.m eastern standard time today um so stop on by and hit that join button if you're interested in uh getting your name in that raffle because we're gonna do the raffle today and i'm super super excited but yeah so far so good now we're kind of in a spot do we want to get this guy to six or should we got try to get one of these guys to five so Definitely a little bit of an interesting spot to be here. Maybe it's just better to max everything out. But look at that. We're taking out a Bannerlord pretty quick. 
Uh, we're getting our chemist all the way up. We got Tamer next. He's got three T's already now, so that's good for him. We got more ice in our mouths now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's just get this guy. I'll wait. I'll wait for Tamer, and then we'll make some plays because we're not worried about the boss. But we don't want to fall off too much during the wave. So, so yeah, I guess what our goal for this game is going to be is have two rank four statues and then a bunch of rank three. Um, a bunch of rank three gargoyles around it. And that's what we're going to be working with here. Another gargoyle. That one's kind of unfortunate. We don't really care about that one there. Let's max out our chemist just to make sure that we're putting out as much damage as possible. Keep on hitting our gadget. He's also got gadget. Let's just do this because in the meantime, we have a rank three here uh, before we get to another chemist. So I'm actually going to just combine out here. Now we can get that guy up to three. I'm going to do it again just like that. So now we have both of those on a rank three. Uh, we do have Tamer coming up. Might as well get this guy up there. And this guy is just kind of be going to be kind of left in the dust. But not necessarily the end of the world. 20 seconds to go. We're still going through a Vortex pretty well. I think he's probably doing a little bit more damage than me. My opponent, that is. But hey, guys. Gargoyle hanging tight. Trying its best. I don't know what it's going to take to win this game. I really don't. I think we're in a very, very similar spot to our opponent right now. So let's hit our gadget as soon as we can. We got 900 to go through. He's got 500 to go through. We both took a hit right there. And actually, all of this stuff over here, none of it was touched. Because we're getting protected. That's why. That's that's exactly what I was talking about. Let's. Uh, I'm going to do this. I want to make sure that I get that guy up all the way as soon as I can. He took a hit by Tribunal, which may make a world of a difference. Maybe, just maybe, we can get this guy up to five. Let's see how we would actually make that happen. So that could get it to four. We need one more Dryad to get it to five. I don't think we're going to be able to make it happen. We're going to need a little bit of mana to try and have that happen. I don't know where we're at in my gadget. Do I have another unit that i need to get i'm not sure tribunal's coming up no we have our active ability right there which is fantastic he took a hit right there 14 seconds we are going to win and there is a victory hit him with a good game a very very close game very fun and i think also pretty well played i am beating him out in crit but i got a level 12 um gargoyle right there he's rocking a level 9 cultist i think in most cases People would say that Cultist would have the advantage in that game. Don't mind that victory at all. And let's jump into another one right away. Guys, like I said, if you want to catch me live, I do live stream twice a week right now. But actually, stay tuned because typically we, we live stream at Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just like I said, we are going to be live today. But it's going to be my last live stream for at least a week, maybe two weeks. I'm going to be on the road for the next two weeks. I'm going to try my absolute best to continue to post my videos every single day. I believe that I'll be able to, so don't worry about that. But for live streaming, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me. So if you guys don't want to miss out and you have some time today, really, I'm asking you to stop by, hang out. It's always fun. Okay, You can play with me, play against me. If you guys are having trouble with dungeons... All you got to do with your channel points, it's free. Channel points is, is not real money. Um, redeem a dungeon run, and we'll have to do it, and we'll try our absolute best to take out whatever floor you're stuck on. Maybe it's even 10 and you just want a gold farm. Maybe you don't even care about gold farming, but you just want to hang out and play by the beach, whatever it might be. Uh, we'd absolutely love to have you there. So let's. Uh, we're, we're kind of in an awkward spot here. We haven't found a... Uh, a portal keeper but this is one of those decks that as soon as you get a couple of gargoyles next to each other and like level up one you can go all the way back to your portal it's not really a gradual thing um let's actually do this watch this this is actually an awesome little thing right here i did a statue there i did a copy there we're gonna copy that and notice that when i copy that rank two it's a statue so like i talked about before there are no negative debuffs. So you copy it with a Harlequin T2 
Typically, you get a, a Harlequin debuff. It doesn't exist. That's not a thing in this game. Um, so, kind of another really, really cool interaction that I that I really love. So, let's see. We can just start off with... Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy another one. And we're actually going to look to get... Uh, to, to, to this guy to four and these guys to three. We got Warlock coming up. I think we should be okay to take this out reasonably fast. And a lot of it's protected. I always kind of forget about the fact that a lot of them are protected. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty decent spot. Let's try to get this guy. We're actually going to get... I want to do them at the same time. I want to get this guy to four and this guy to... One of these guys to three as soon as I can. So let's just uh, combine out here. Let's try to find another dryad. All right, so this is enough. Let's try to find one more dryad and then we should be okay to make this play. So we didn't find him, but that's okay. We're just going to do that. And uh, we can do this right away. So now we've got a rank four. This guy's doing area damage. This guy's doing area damage. We only need a couple of dryads to get that guy up as well. So I think we're in a decent spot. And we are doing a mirror match from the last game. I forget if my guy was running chemist or if he was running um, scrapper like my man here. But either way, um, I'm in for it. I like it. I, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So let's just do this. There's a dryad. Very awkward board right here. Let's just get our gargoyle up while we think a little bit. I might just do this for a sec. That's another dryad. I guess we'll just do this. We're going to go here. Um, we're lacking in the chemist department. We're lacking in the dryads, dryads department. Never mind. So I'm actually going to start with this and move this guy. Because we do need our chemist to be doing some work. Next step is copy this, this. Now our board's starting to come together a little bit. And I think the next step is getting our... Um, actually, you know what? Watch how I do this again. I, I love these little tiny interactions. Okay, I'm going to switch a, a uh, dryad down here. I got a dryad here. Okay, I'm going to copy another dryad. I'm going to merge dryads here. We're going to merge it away with that portal keeper now. And now I'm going to move that uh, statue to the middle there. And now we have a rank 2 statue on a square on a couple more dryads. And uh, we're going to be able to get another three, one, two, and three gargoyles over there. And like I said before, if you missed it, I like to have my gargoyle statue on a square because that gives the buff to all the, the surrounding gargoyles as well. So let's just start with this. We'll get this guy up to four immediately. And then our next goal is to get this guy up to three. So I'm going to just combine out here a little bit. Combine out here. Now we've got some dryads to play with. Um, I'd love to just keep a rank one dryad as much as possible. There she is. Get that guy up to three. Hit our gadget as soon as we can. And again, our board is coming together. Let me know in the comments if you guys are ever playing Gargoyle and you guys are seasoned vets, okay? I like to play it. I'm not the expert. You know, I say that all the time. If you do play Gargoyle, do you typically just stop at a rank 4 statue and try to surround with rank 3s? Or do you try to get your rank 3s to rank 5s as attack units? Do you try to get your rank 4s to rank 6s as statues? Um, I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. So uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. We didn't take this guy out super, super quick right there. Um, but not necessarily the end of the world. Let's just do... Um, hmm. I feel like I'm a little stuck right here. I'm going to do this. So we do have the debuff right there, which is not ideal. But uh, that's okay, I suppose. There's another gargoyle. I'm just going to do this because we can get rid of the debuff there. And then we're going to be able to move this guy over. And I think the next step, 100%, is getting that, that uh, chemist up to three. I think that's really, really important. Get that chemist up to three. Rank it up as well. And now we've got everything we want on uh, as gargoyles go. As far as gargoyles go, we've got our rank fours. We've got our rank threes. And that's where that question comes in. What do I do now? I've played this deck with Scrapper before. It's absolutely hilarious because you're just leveling up things right and left. And you have no rhyme or reason what you're aiming for. It's really, really funny. But as far as uh, like best decks go, probably not, <laughs> probably not the best option in the world. So 
so I'm really curious, okay? Because at here, the only thing that I could possibly do is either rank up a statue to six, which takes a ton of dryads, like a million dryads, or rank up a rank three to rank five, which still takes a ton of dryads, but slightly fewer dryads. So as we're kind of stuck, his board's going to continue getting better. He's got three rank... Um, He's got three uh, T's right there. Okay. Let's just do this. Maybe we'll get another three. Nope. Okay. So, I don't know here. I, I guess I'll just do this. No. What can I do here? I can move this guy over. We got our gadget we can hit right there. At least this does something. I don't know. We'll just do this as well. I'm trying to find something that would be cool to do, but... Nothing's really happening. Oh, I could just do a chemist. Doesn't even matter. There is a victory. Hit him with a good game. We're going to look at the stats again. 1650. Okay, he's got a level 8 cultist. We've got a we, we've got level 12 gargoyle. 1650 versus 2000. I think there has to be another step there. Maybe I need at least one rank 5 uh, gargoyle. And that should be one of my goals early on. But guys, clearly it works. Yes, I know I'm a little bit higher um it, with the, my account than them but it's early on in the season that's all you know that's that's what's going to happen right but we're both at 40 something thousand four thousand trophies and something so uh pretty funny right there we'll just collect a couple of these rewards climb in the ladder we made it up to 4960 fellows well on our way but guys that's going to be the end of this youtube video if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys